The purpose behind many of the tools found in ZBrush 4 is to give artists a faster way to realize their creative ideas. One of the best examples of this is the mannequin scenes that come with a ZBrush 4. Now what are mannequins? Mannequins are essentially Z-Sphere armatures. And the way that you interact with these mannequins has been changed in ZBrush 4 to allow for more easy posing. And the idea behind this is to give uh, you as an artist a way to quickly develop poses for your characters and also quickly develop multi-character scenes. The great thing about using Z-Sphere armatures in this way is that you don't have to model anything. You already have the model set up ready to go. You don't have to worry about polygons or anything. You can start to manipulate them very quickly and then later on if you need to you can replace the mannequin with your own Z-Tools or even convert the mannequins into something that you can sculpt. In this movie I'm just going to give you the basics on how you can interact with the mannequins. When I have the move button activated on the top shelf, I can click and drag on the uh, connecting Z-spheres, in other words, this part between the two joint Z-spheres. This moves the arm using forward kinematics. So I can very quickly pose the arm like this. If I click on the Z-sphere itself, the joint Z-sphere, and drag, this is going to move the Z-Sphere independently of the other parts of the mannequin. So in this way I can easily quickly rescale parts of the arm and make changes to the model if I wanted to. If I hold the Alt key and click on one of the joint Z-Spheres, one, one of the main Z-Spheres, this is going to essentially move the parts directly above and below the Z-Sphere that I'm dragging on and the other parts of the mannequin will adjust. So if I alt, hold the Alt key and click here, this is the kind of movement that I get. If I hold the Control key and click on one of these Z-spheres, it's kind of like moving this back and forth. So I'm holding the Control key and clicking on this Z-sphere. If I want to move the entire model, I can just hold the Control key and click on the root Z-sphere. In other words, the main Z-sphere of the model, this one right here in the waist. So if I hold Control and I click on this one at the top, this is the kind of action that I get. And if I hold Control and click on this one, I move the entire model. Let's say, for instance, I wanted to rotate the model around. The easiest way to do this is to keep the model right here at the origin and go into the Deformations palette. Uh, go to the uh, rotate deformer. I'm going to click on the Y axis and deselect the Z axis and then start to rotate the model. Now I can rotate him around wherever I need to. Uh, same thing with the size. If I want to uh, resize the entire model, again I'll just use the size deformer here in the deformations palette and I can resize the whole thing at once. If I need to add a joint, I could just switch to the draw mode on the top shelf and click on the area between the joint Z-spheres and that instantly adds a, another Z-sphere. And if I'd like to duplicate the model, all I have to do is expand the subtool palette, select my mannequin, and press the duplicate button. Now when I hold the control key and click on the root Z-sphere, I'm dragging out a second copy of my mannequin, which I can start posing. And this is a great way to start creating uh, multi-character scenes. So I'm just going to rotate this guy around the y-axis so he's facing the other one and now I can start posing. To resize the z-sphere just click on the scale button on the top shelf and drag in the z-sphere you want to scale. I can start changing the shape of uh, this character into something different so uh, maybe he's having a uh, difficult day or something like that with this other mannequin. Um, who knows, it's a great way to explore different scenes, create different moods for your characters, um, establish a composition, all without having to model anything. Now if you look in the projects directory of Lightbox, you'll see that there are several scenes that have already been created uh, that you can start playing with right away. Uh, for instance, I'm going to open up this multi-character scene. There's a few people at a restaurant with a dog. Let's give you some idea of the kind of things that you can do with mannequins. 
There's also a multi-character fight scene. So I'll just double click on this to open it. And uh, this is a great starting place for uh, to create some ideas. In this particular scene, if I wanted to start posing one of the characters, what I can do is I'll just hold the Alt key and click on this character to select him because he uses a sub-tool. And then press the A button to switch out of adaptive skin mode. And now I can actually start uh, posing the character. In addition to the uh, other mannequins, there are also several other scenes included with ZBrush, including a, this dog here and uh, some other ones you can explore here in Lightbox. To load one, just double click on it and it will load in ZBrush and you can start playing with it.